Ignorance of socialism and its effects has allowed it to gain rising popularity in the United States recently, especially among the young. In 2016, Bernie Sanders almost won his party's presidential nomination as an open and avowed socialist. This year, young professing socialist Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is running for and will almost certainly win a congressional seat in New York. Among other policy proposals, she has advocated Medicare for everyone, universal employment through government subsidy, and free college tuition. All of this sounds great, especially to those with no understanding of economics. But for those who do understand the laws of economics, the socialistic picture, especially the way she's presented it, is fantasy dressed up as reality. Ocasio-Cortez has said, for instance, that her Medicare for All scheme would cost less than the current system and save taxpayers trillions, a claim echoed by Andrew Gillum, running for governor of Florida. Even the decidedly liberal Washington Post gave that claim three Pinocchios for its outrageous falsity. In reality, credible estimates indicate that all of these social goodies would cost an extra $40 trillion over the next decade. But it would never go that far because as former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher once put it, the problem with socialism is that sooner or later you run out of other people's money. And that leads us to the heart of the matter. Listen, this is not complicated. Every dollar the government spends is a dollar it has taken from someone else who actually earned it. Candidates peddling socialist policies are really advocating government confiscation and redistribution of wealth. It's not hard to understand their popularity. With a fallen human nature, there will never be a shortage of people willing to line up and take other people's property for free. But taking what belongs to others is theft. And that is no less true when it's the strong arm of government doing the highway robbery for you. Christians above all people must stand up at the polls and say no to socialism. A love for neighbor, a love for truth, and the crystal clear commandments of God demand it.